Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Jimmyism Total Nerdy Channel. And you are of course watching Satisfactory. And uh, today, here you can see my new start of a beautiful little copper facility. Let us take a little look on it. Here is my new kind of copper facility. I uh, tried to make the interior design somewhat interesting. Um, you'll have to tell me if I succeeded or not. Because we should now take a little look. We should also hook it up to power because I haven't done this yet. Um, but anyways, let's just take a little look here. We can walk up here. It's a Mark II miner and here we have all the copper ores going in. We can actually make uh, ingots of all of them. Unfortunately, we can't make uh, uh, products of uh, all of them, but uh, you know, uh, this facility is oversized uh, in any case. And I don't know why I did this, but uh, I for some reason had this little uh, area, which is nice, with uh, interior walls. I don't know, I, I kind of it kind of looks more industrial in some weird way. Um, I should probably also have walkways. Yeah, I should have more walkways. But anyways, what's the reason of this plant? Well, the reason of this plant is that I need nuclear power, and nuclear power apparently is a little bit more complex than I first thought. Or, it's not more complex than I first thought, but it's... Uh, I don't produce enough AI limiters at home base, which means we'll have to produce them here. Which means I'll need to get the proper copper production, I need to get the proper steel production, and I need to get the proper uh, catherium ore extraction thing. And uh, I've done some of this, uh, you've seen the steel facility before, uh, and I have actually built a catherium uh, facility, we're going to take a look at that. Uh, because AI limiters needs uh, copper sheets and uh, quick wire. Anyways, we should indeed uh, just try and see if we can get up. Uh, okay, can can we? Maybe we'll need to go to this side to just see if it's even possible. Okay, that's good enough. Like that and that. Oh no, toxic gas. I wish there was some way to remove those toxic gas places. It's really annoying. Okay, so it's not like a completely smooth pass, but uh, this is kind of uh, what I wanted to have. Except I can't make it entire way, so uh, that's good enough. Anyways, uh, that's some stuff you can do. All the smelters should work, and I've uh, even tried to set up this wire a little bit more tidy. And then we have the second floor. Well, thing is, when I came to the second floor, I wanted to make it big and open, and I started to care a little bit less about design. Uh, we have the uh, ingots coming up here and there, and they should then go into the machines there and there. Beautiful. So, even though I uh, started to care a little bit less about design about this point, I'm still very happy with kind of the top of the vehicle. Uh, vehicle uh, building top of the factory with these kind of uh, walls with the uh, base there. I th I'm, I'm happy Anyways, uh, let's connect up power and see where we are uh... Yeah, and uh, even though it uh, It doesn't like produce the maximum amount of uh, materials It is kind of close ish. So all my smelters and all this setup isn't useless of course. Alright, but we should have a little overhead look here. And, uh, yep. The ore is getting fed. Beautiful. And until the ore is, uh, in until the ingots reached 100, it should be completely full. Oh god. Oh yeah, the ingots already come up here. Come up here pretty quickly and these start producing copper sheets then we have uh, oh yeah and now we're completely full because here we have the uh, kind of exit point of our copper goods and they're mixed and that is how they should be we should then later on uh, divide them oh god this is gonna end bad ouch 
So, um, now let's see here. I'm trying to remember what, uh, couldn't put a wall piece here. Very sad, but, um, yeah, it's Mark IV we need. It's Mark IV or more. And I stopped to use <coughs> um, the best of the best all the time. Uh, because I started up ending up only using Mark V. Which is kind of a little bit useless. But yeah. Or it wasn't useless before. Because before I had such a bad production um, of uh, these encased beams so that it was cheaper to use aluminium for some weird reason anyways uh, this mark 4 band we're going to take back to our base and all that so we're gonna have a little divider up there when we come to kind of the factory level come on thank you uh, anyways, before we finish that up, I am going to show you my little Caterium facility. So, let's fly there. Oh, and I didn't tell you about this. I actually, I doubled the steel factory, as you can see here. It's very beautiful. Ouch, ouch, radioactive. Oh shit, that's really radioactive. Oh god. Anyways, here we have my, st my Caterium facility. It's kind of smallish, but very cute. Won't you agree? This little thing, it's uh, simple but effective. I've almost managed to make it super neat, except this thing wouldn't fit any other way except this way, so it looks a little bit sadder than I hoped it would. But we have the transportation of stuff on the outside, uh, pretty clean construction, and I started to like these uh, gate walls uh, a lot actually. And this just divides them up by three little smelters and uh, they all pop into these constructors here. And unfortunately I couldn't encase them because it's too little space. But that happens. Anyways. Uh, oh god, it's so radioactive around here. Uh, on this little platform here, which is conveniently just above the uh, toxic gas clouds, which will kill you, um, I intend to have my AI limiting and rotor uh, production, because that's things we need. And uh, inside this little encasement, we have the encased beam production, that's part of the toxic cloud. So let's, we'll actually need a lot more of them, so we can see there. You can see we have a beautiful little look around area like this, which you can't be in because you'll be gassed to death. Very sad. Uh, but, uh, yeah. And you should probably have a little quick tour about the steel. It's basically the steel times two. It's uh, not more complex than that, and uh, yeah. As I, I don't need to tell you that, I just like the new, uh, I just like to use the open gate walls a lot on my recent factories, basically all of them, probably make it on this too. Uh, because it's nice that you can enter and exit a little bit more easily, while still have a kind of encasement, because the machines themselves are so beautiful. Anyways. Did I? Oh, okay, cool, I have free hands. So, um, I suppose that's kind of a little uh, that. So, uh, let us connect this up here. Uh, and I'll, I don't need to bore you with that. So, I'll be back in a sec. Alright. Uh, the copper is flowing in here. We have a beautiful little boosted um, steel rod. Uh, no, steel pipe production. And I'm not really sure exactly how I'm supposed to fit everything together. But we are going to solve it the old fashioned way with a um, altar to the gods of uh, the sky. Yes, uh, we're gonna set up a waste bin so everything we overproduce we don't need. But basically, uh, as you can see here, the copper is now flowing from our facility just like this. Very nice. And uh, we even uh, reused some of uh, this little, um, well, this is now a four, 
four line band of goods coming in here. Very beautiful. And it goes up into this thing. We are going to set up our factory here. And this is of course our um, nuclear fuel factory, I believe. <clears throat> so, uh, this place will be highly radioactive when we set this up. So we'll need to be a little bit careful um, around here. We'll see uh, what has more resources or, uh, you know, not. Uh, anyways, uh, I never tried this uh, method before, but I'm going to try to do some kind of weird sandwich factory where I can have a kind of bottom floor uh, and have the machines a little bit below and we can walk around on top of it so we don't need to jump around uh, so much. Anyways, we have some of these that are collecting material. We have a smart splitter here splitting up all the copper coming in from this line. Uh, and we need to set up some kind of uh, awesome sink, as the trash bin called, I always forget, to, uh, you know, use all the excessive uh, energy that come up. Anyways, I wonder how our electricity is faring. Hopefully it's not super low. Anyways, we always have problem with electricity lately, so... Uh, we need to do a lot of parts here. If we just click X, we can click nuclear. Here we have the nuclear fuel rod. And you can see uh, what we need to do is uh, we need uh, this one in case uranium cells. We got a bunch of them. Uh, in case industrial beam, we need electromagnetic control rods. And that's the thing that's a little bit problematic. Because here we need to have stators as well as AI limiters. So AI limiters and stators. Beautiful. And that's what we're going to set up in this facility. And then we're going to make a lot of electromagnetic control rods, as you can understand. We'll see how many we can do. Um, how many we can do but uh, I'll try to set this up a little bit because this factory floor is big and a little bit messy and I'll try to fix this anyways this one uh, should of course make the AI limiter and we need 25 copper sheets per minute and 100 quick wire per minute so We'll just quickly need to go over here and check the production level of quickwire. Oh look, raspberry. Paleberry, sorry. Alright, 60. 6 times 3 is what we produce at the moment. Let's see, I think I could boost that, I could up that a little bit. Um, but that's basically, yeah, that's that's almost 200. Um, it's uh, 180, of course, and the one needs, yeah. So we could boost it up. We don't need it. You don't need to be perfectly matched. Of course, it's good if it's perfectly matched, but you know, not super necessary. See if we can fit the uh, no machines on this side here. Assembler. Something like that. What? No more wire. Okay. Right, it's a little bit crazy. Like in this area, <clears throat> this is the Caterium factory by the way. Just when you're exactly around here, it's just so immensely foggy and the fog never goes away. Anyways, I realized we need to boost this up a little bit so we produce 90 per minute so we can actually provide the quick wire we need. And you can see it's so weird. You can see here it's like this beautiful normal and when we go in here it looks like we're in a sandstorm. What the hell? Anyways, whatever. That's how it is and uh, yeah. So, um, let's go back to our base here now. Uh, I also went to the copper factory and I uh, ordered some of the units to produce more sheets and some to produce less wire because otherwise we have too much wire. And if we have too much wire we'll have a problem with the, yeah, the material flow, not good. 
So anyways, uh, now these are set up to produce AI limiters and they should use up all the copper or uh, all the copper sheets actually that we even produce in that facility there. So that's pretty cool. And the quick wire should be able to match up. These things are of course uh, producing stators and together we can make some uh, control rods. And we also have a weird wire of uh, this uh, steel encased beam here. And as I said before, we're going to produce a type of uh, sandwich factory. So we kind of hide away all the ugly stuff when we're more done. Just like this. Very nice. And we'll not have to look at it. Beautiful. We also need some electricity. But uh, anyways. Oh god. Don't kill me. Um, I'll be shaking back with you again soon. All right, I've used up my all my jet fuel, so we need to get more. But uh, it's a complete mess now, which is beautiful. Um, I should give you a little round tour of what we have been messing with. So uh, I've set up some assemblers here. We have three of them. I intended to have two of them at first, and they both produce five um, parts per minute. Uh, I also had to boost the steel production, so another machine also makes steel pipes. So, uh, the, the steel pipes are coming in. Um, and I realized that the ratio between these ones and the one that make air limiters was wrong. So, I've uh, neatly added another machine by taking a material flow outside of the building and putting it right here. Beautiful. So, uh, if everything works as we hope it will, we can make 15 stators per minute. Uh, and they go into these two machines uh, that make electromagnetic control roller rods. And they use six stators or, um, and four AI limiters, which means, uh, you know, six to four, same as uh, two to three. Uh, which means we have two machines making AI limiters and we exactly have that capacity now or should have at least So they join together like this split off in crazy ways and should divide up here but we have 10 to 15 and uh, uh, These two together uh, actually don't need 15 they need 12 and they don't need uh, 8 they need uh, 10 yeah, but I believe uh, as we boosted one of these machines, uh, it should probably work fine, hopefully, and we can merge them here. So uh, then I suppose we can actually just connect up the electricity and see if we get any of this. And of course we have stashed up material um, already, so that's probably fine to just, you know... You know um, Production will work much better, like, in the beginning. Alright, now these are flowing in there. It's so sad not having a jetpack. Well, shit happens. And there we connect up that thing. We should probably actually not connect up that thing, but instead... I love this feature that it actually adds more wall-mounted uh, electricity now as well. It didn't do that before. Da, 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 da. And there we go. Did it connect? Yes. Cool. And another one. Something like that. Next one go... Oh god. What a mess. What have I done? Please tell me what have I done? I don't know. Yeah, so all the time, as you probably know by now, when I try to do stuff, it, it becomes messy. We have a state rolling in here, and soon I think we are going to have AI limiters as well. Very nice. Yep. I love the description of the AI limiter, by the way. Did you read it? Uh, I'm going to read it for you. When we have another one rolling out. There we go. 
Right. Oh, I have many. AI limiters are super advanced electronics that are used to control AIs and keep them from evolving in malicious ways. That sounds like it's good to have, right? I think so too. Anyways, um, we have some radioactivity here, so it's probably probably doesn't you know hurt that we uh, actually can't fly around right now. But I kind of love it. Yeah, anyways, now we are actually producing electromagnetic control rods in uh, full speed, kind of. Um, and I think that, oh my god, I played for so long now that I'll actually need a, need a like, break. We won't be powering up our nuclear power plants this episode. Ma oh god. Oh lords. Well, that's a good end to this episode. Damn it. I got stuck in the log. It's very sad. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed anyways. I'm going to not enjoy making a car and driving here and just, you know. Uh, see you next time anyways. This is Jimodism, signing out. Bye bye. <laughs>